man was arrested in first, for first-degree murder charges nearly a year ago after his wife, Suzanne, disappeared in 2020. Now a free man. The prosecution filed a motion to dismiss that case. News 5's Natalie Chuck joins us live from the Fremont County Courthouse tonight. Natalie, what happens next? Rob and Diane, the prosecution can refile those charges later on if they are ready, but for now, Barry Morphew is a free man. This comes just before the trial was slated to start and a couple of weeks after the judge ruled that 12 out of the 14 of the prosecution's experts would not be allowed to testify. That's one reason the prosecution says they wanted to get the case dismissed. The other reason is because the prosecution says they believe they are close to finding Suzanne's body, but they think it is buried under feet of snow, and they say they wouldn't have had time to search for it before the trial was supposed to start. The defense says they don't think the prosecution will refile charges because they won't find a body connected to Barry. But the defense did acknowledge the fact that Barry has had the financial ability to hire a strong team. You know, if Mr. Morphew didn't have the resources, um, he could be wrongfully convicted. And, and that's, that's a statement about our justice system. Suzanne and Barry's daughters have been by their dad's side every step of the way. They spoke out in court today, moved to tears when the case was dismissed. They say they want to know what happened to their mom, but they don't think their dad had anything to do with it. Suzanne's family members also appeared virtually in court today, and they spoke out saying they agree with dismissing the charges, but now they want to focus on finding Suzanne and hopefully getting any justice they might need to. Coming up on News 5 at 10 tonight, you will hear from from another lawyer not associated with this case about why he believes the prosecution decided to do this. Reporting from the Fremont County Courthouse, Natalie Chuck, News 5. Natalie, thanks. Let's continue our coverage now. The dismissal, dismissal of those charges against Barry Morphew. Despite today's developments, prosecutors still have the ability to refile charges at a later date. Our chief investigative reporter, Eric Ross, explains how and why this is possible. Eric. Robin Diane, good evening. It all comes down to when a case is dismissed with prejudice or without prejudice. Now, in this case, the matter was dismissed without prejudice. Here's what that means. Take a look. Essentially, the district attorney's office is able to refile the case at a later date, especially if new evidence comes to light. Now, had the case been dismissed with prejudice, it would be an entirely different story. That's because cases that are dismissed with prejudice mean the prosecution cannot, under any circumstance, refile the same charges against a defendant. Now, in Colorado, there is no statute of limitations for murder, meaning this case could be refiled at any point in time. We'll, of course, keep you updated with any new developments we receive. Rob? Eric, thanks.